Hello, this is Jonathan O'Dell, author of The Healing. As part of my research for the book, I got to interview Mrs. Willie Turner, a 91-year-old African-American midwife. Here are some excerpts from the recording I made that day. When did you decide you wanted to be a midwife? I always wanted to be a nurse. And I couldn't be a nurse. So my mother would raise me from a baby. She was a midwife. How did you learn? I didn't have no education from schooling for being a midwife. My mother was a midwife. She would carry me along when she got a patient to deliver a baby. And then I would watch her. And then when Dr. James had a labor case, he would take me with him. And I watched him. And so that's the way I came to be a midwife. Tell me about a typical delivery. Now, you wants to know about how the baby present himself to the world. Okay. When the midwife goes to the mother for her to have this baby, the midwife will clean the vagina and then she will make a paper pad, have some paper pads, and put this mother's butt on the paper pad. On the bed? On the bed. All right, this is to protect the bed. So then she will let the mother lie still. And if she want to walk, she can get up and walk until the pain come to about five minutes apart with a bear down. Bear down, okay. Then the midwife puts the mother back to bed on this pad. Then she put her in position for the delivery. What position? And that, yeah. Yeah. So she lay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like that. that position. Okay. All right, now she is ready and the midwife don't let the mother bear down. She will let her <sighs> hassle. 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 Okay, yeah. Don't be bad all the time. Let the baby. Why? Well, that you can, you're not supposed to force that. You're going to let nature take its coat. And so, the right time come, it's going to force itself. And then, the midwife will be in position with a towel to receive the baby's head when it approach. The wife is in front of the patient. Okay. In this position. Okay, so I like that. That's right. Okay. And the midwife have a towel in her hand. When the baby present his head to show up his head, the midwife let the mother hassle that baby out. <sighs> okay. Then the midwife has the towel ready to catch the baby. And then she wraps the baby up and lay the baby aside until the afterbirth passes. How long? Well, sometime it be a good while. And then you wait so many minutes and the afterbirth don't come. Well, then you stroke that blood from that afterbirth back into that baby's stomach. For to the placenta? Uh-huh. Okay. For, uh, I'm up in there if it ain't come. And then you tie. You tie him. And you tie him. About third, a third. Then you cut 
between the ties. Is that right? <coughs> so that makes the after brave is, is tied. What do you tie with? A, a string? Cord. A cord? Yeah, the doctor. Well, they punish y'all that. Your scissors, your cord, your eye drop. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next question. <laughs> What were some of the most difficult deliveries? If the woman bear down too much, what happened? She may cause a hemorrhage. In herself? Uh-huh. Okay. It may it damage herself. So she bleeds. So you let nature take its coat. And then if that baby is in the right position, he is going to come on down and his head show up first. But now, sometimes that baby come breach. Do you want to know about that? Okay. Sometimes that baby will come breach. That's the foot. So he's got foot uh -huh. like that? Yeah. Foot. And then you will know that that baby is coming breach. And his bowel is going to be moving, and his bowel is going to come through the vagina. And you can't let that mama bear too much then. You're going to let her breathe slowly uh, and hassle. And then when that butt come on down, it coming on down, it coming on down. Okay, then... The midwife going to try to help that foot. And then one foot going to come down. And if that one foot come down, push it back. Every time that foot was in, push it back. And then till that other one drop. Okay. Now, you got both. You got feet. Now, you ain't got foot. You got feet. Okay. This feet. All right, bring this on up. Out come the head, the baby's bone. Miracle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the same way, if it come feet forward, you let both of the feet come down. Now, we done just demonstrated foot. Right. Now we're going to demonstrate feet. Now, feet, here's a say, foot from us. He coming foot from us. Okay, you don't do nothing until you push back, same way, until that other foot drop down. When that other foot drop down, then you take the feet up to the mother. You take the feet and up yeah. toward the mother? Yeah. And then the and then the head you take the comes feet. out like that. That's a, right. Like on that. up to her face. And the and the head comes the baby out. Baby comes right on out. Were some babies born not breathing? What did you do? Oh yeah. Now here come your problem. If the baby is not breathing, when you get that baby out, you. Scoop that blood and cut that cord quick. And get that baby tied away from there. Then, this is the baby's head. This is the baby's feet. So you hold the baby up with the head down, and then the, by, by, by the feet, uh -huh. and then you spank the butt. Spank. Okay. Now, if that don't do, you don't try that method. You gonna try, and that don't do. That baby don't holler. Lay him down, face way, and then another arm. Move his arms around. Arm. Both uh -huh. arms. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. If that don't do, then you gonna. I ain't got no clinic, but anyway, you gonna. If that don't do. You're going to put this. Oh. You put a cloth over the baby's in mouth. In the baby's mouth. And then you breathe through the cloth into the baby. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Your, that's right. You're going to breathe your breath into this baby's lungs. 
and to span them long. And then that baby may start a sneezing. Uh huh. And then from the <clears throat> you're going to clean the passes out. You don't already did that. You don't clean his nose out. You don't clean his mouth out before you start trying to get him to breathe. Okay. How do you how do you clean them out? How do you clean the nose out? Well, you see, you, you got that kind of material in your grip. In your, okay, in your grip. A little. You got a. I got one in there in the kitchen. Rubber. Serene. Got it. Okay. Uh huh. Clean the nose side out. out. Yeah. Out. yeah. Mm. Mash it and that bring it down and right. squirt it out and do it again. Okay. Okay. Now then, you want to know what you do next after you done put your breath in there and the baby still ain't breathing. You're going to take the baby then, wrap him up good. You already have your hot water on through this, what you're doing. You got to have hot boiling water on. Now you're going to get some of that hot boiling water and put it in a container. If it used to be, then you could have them gallon bucket, molasses bucket. Right. Put that water in that bucket. Put that top on it. Get you a box. Set that bucket down. Get you a pillow, and lay on the top of that uh, bucket. Uh-huh. Over the mouth of the bucket. Bucket okay. in the box. That's your incubator. And then you gonna put that baby in there and wrap him good. Let me see. And, uh, and, and, and take up a, a box, and then a bucket with hot water. A bucket. And then put a, a pillow in the box. In the box. In the, in the bucket under the pillow. Okay. Okay, now, your your pill, your bucket here. Okay. And this your pillow. Okay, the pillow's and laying on baby. top of the, okay, you lay the baby on the pillow, and the hot water is under the pillow. Under the pillow, on the bottom of the box. Okay. Then the baby is on the pillow. What kind of then box? It pays for box, okay. any kind of apple box, you know, back then, you know, uh, any, any kind of box. Okay. So it's a box. And uh, so then, finally, so many minutes, every once in a while, you feel that baby pull, and you feel his heart. You feel it under the arm? Uh-huh, the... you get on the arm and in here. On the neck? And, uh-huh. <clears throat> And you may feel a heartbeat. You know, he's getting coming back. Okay, when you feel that heartbeat, don't move that baby from that elevator. Just put your claw, lean over there, and blow your breath in there again. Then you're going to go to Holly. You're going to save that baby's life. <laughs> so I, I save five Lie. Now, what else next you want to know? Get up at the stove. Oh, uh, I'm coming. Now you want to know about how you do if you can't get it in the box? Yes. Okay. Now, if you can't get that baby to breathe in the box, you got a wood stove. And that, that wood stove is already hot because you're boiling water on there for your job. So then you're going to wrap that baby up and put him up in that oven. But you're going to leave the oven door open. And every few minutes, you're going to feel in there and see what's going on. And when that blanket get warm, that baby get warm in that blanket up in that stove, and then you're going to take him out. And wake his arm, and then he's going to squall. If he don't <laughs> squall, you got to go with the mouth again. The That's the way you, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. And now, uh, I put, now, some, I had to put, I put on the heaters. Hmm. Well, you, you lay him on the floor, wrapped up on the uh, heater in the winter time. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then he get good and warm, and then... He'll start crying down there, and then you get him, he ready. And then, see, now I had, I had a, I saved five of them. One with a pasteboard box, two in the stove, and one on my way to Belzona to the doctor that's continue blowing my breath 
in his mouth. And the, the other one, uh, let me see that shot. The, I, don't, I can't think of the names now, but anyway. And that's the way I save five people's lives. And they walk around with my breath in them today. 